Greetings. Today we look at Pure OS 10. Pure OS is a Debian based Linux distro that prides itself for being fully convergent, user friendly, secure, and freedom respecting OS for your daily usage. It is an operating system for everyone, from tech enthusiasts, IT security experts, to the normal average user. Its source code is readily available for studying, sharing, or even adapting to suit your needs. In short, Pure OS is fully auditable. It is a rolling release operating system, just like most Arch Linux distros. You install it once and update your way to the latest releases. The latest version at the moment is Pure OS 10. It is more stable with great privacy protecting features and softwares but with a more solid foundation. Here are some of its new features. 1. Greater stability through following a stable upstream. 2. New security and update software channels. 3. New tooling for managing all the versions of TPM chips. 4. Changes to make the Librem key work out of the box. And 5. Lots of bug fixes and healing of paper cuts. Its system requirements for installation are as follows. A 64-bit processor, at least 4 GB of RAM, and at least 15 GB of hard disk space. In terms of desktop environments, Pure OS comes with GNOME 3.38 by default, which is not the best, but it's fine. There is also KDE Plasma Edition of the same. Most of the software applications from categories like Education, Games, Graphics, Internet, Office, Programming, Science, Sound, and Video are all available in the Software Center. To update your system, you can do that from the Software Center. To update your apps, or your entire system as a whole. Pure OS also has something called real convergence, which means bringing your desktop computer with you. They've managed to shrink the desktop OS to work on phone. Unfortunately, I haven't tried that and I don't have much info about it. We have the dock on the left. Then workspaces on the right, and we have most of the apps already installed. For instance, we have LibreOffice, we also have um, a web app. Unfortunately, we don't have Firefox, but you can still use this web app, which is based off, based off uh, a GNOME web browser it's basically a normal browser like any other but if you still want firefox you can still install from the software center now as for the software center you will find most of the apps that you need and uh, you can also update your apps from within you can download updates for your system from there as well now let's look at um, settings and under settings you'll notice that its name is pure OS it's a 64-bit and then the GNOME version is 3.38.5 and it's using Wayland now one other thing you'll notice about Pure OS is that still on the settings you can install updates right from here software updates and you click that it brings you to the software center where you will download your updates now apart from that we also have the normal the usual suspect we have uh, system monitor is available 
the GNOME system monitor which shows your CPU usage, memory and network usage. As you can see, uh, the usage is not that high at 800 MB uh, on a virtual machine. It's not bad. Mm, we also have the command line and since it's Debian based, you, you can use the app apt repository to download any softwares you might need if you can't find them on the software center for the file manager we have the normal gnome file manager i mean nautilus if that's what you call it and it's all based on gnome 3.38 now there's one interesting feature about about POS and it's called parent control so you can basically set an account for other users especially kids and decide what they can access and what they cannot access so for instance I have this account named Sun and uh, I can restrict their web access the kind of software they can access and so forth and um, yeah there isn't much to it just in case you need to update you can update from within and um, it's a cool distro it's uh, apart from the fact that it's using gnome 3.38 when the latest version should be around gnome 4.4.3 i believe a bit behind but it's okay uh, as long as it's working so yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Do you think it's a um, it's a cool looking distro, and would you like to give it a try? Uh, comment that down in the comment section. And from now, enjoy the installation process, and consider subscribing to the channel.